Um, I, I had a PowerPoint, and sometimes electronics being what they are, it's fine if it's not working because I can tell you all about goals tonight. But I want to start with a story first, okay? So the story is four young gentlemen enter into a restaurant, and they're seated at a table. And at this table, there is one glass that has some water in it. And the first one looks and says, oh, look, the glass is half full. He's known as an optimist. The second one says, no, I beg to differ. That glass is half empty. He's a pessimist. And the third guy looks around the room at all the other tables and says, you know, I believe our table is the only table that has a glass on it with water in it. That's a realist. And the fourth person, recognizing that he's a little bit thirsty, reaches across the table, grabs a glass of water, and drinks it. He is an opportunist. So I tell you that story to say this. When you think about goals, you have to think about how you look at life. You have to think about, are you an opportunist? Which is the best person to be when you're setting goals? Because what you want to do is you want to recognize your thirst. You want to recognize what you're thirsty for. And you want to take action to then get it and, and satisfy that thirst. So there's a very simple formula when it comes to goal setting. And I'm going to give you that formula. First of all, I'll give you it with the acronyms. It's PS to DFS in a certain TF. PS is present state. Okay, You want to evaluate your present state. You want to know what you're, where you are and how you got there. Those are the two main questions. Where am I and how did I get here? Ter Terry Pritchard, in one of his books, wrote, if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you are. And if you don't know where you are, then you don't know where you're going. And if you don't know where you're going, there's a good chance you're going wrong. And that's what the present state is all about. The present state is designed to let you understand where you are. The second part of that, the DFS, is desired future state. In the desired future state, what you're really looking to do is you are looking to dream. You're looking at trying to figure out where it is you want to go, and you want to be able to envision what that looks like. And then the TF is the time frame between those two. Now, in there, you don't actually execute on the goal. Okay? You achieve the goal. You execute on objectives. And that's another part of the equation, is the objectives. And in order to identify your objectives and really to lay down your timeline, you have to do what's called a gap analysis. And a gap analysis just says, what am I missing that I need to get to where I want to go? And once you identify those things that you're missing, then you're able to start laying out in order to get my objectives. I need, this is my first objective. If I attain this, then it's going to move me down the line. And your objectives are where you really execute on your goals. So you don't execute on the goal. You achieve the goal. You execute on your objectives. And in this process, if you do this, what happens is your desired future state eventually becomes your current present state. And you begin to stack your goals. And success is built off of success. And achievement is built off of achievement. And that's what this process does. So it's a very simple foundation. It's present state. Where am I? And how did I get here? It's desired future state. Where do I want to go? And what does that look like? It's the gap analysis. What am I missing that I need in order to obtain what I want to obtain? It's the objectives. Now that I know what I need to obtain, what's my logical order in order to obtain it? And then it's that time frame. How long is it going to take me to get what I need to get? If you have a bachelor's degree and you want to go on to get a master's degree, you can say, present state, I have a bachelor's degree. I want to get to a master's degree. It's going to take me two and a half years to do it. Now I have a sense of urgency because I have a two and a half year window. I got my objectives. I've got X amount of classes. I need to obtain 40 credit hours. So I have my objectives. Each class is an objective. You're going to have to pay for it. So you're going to have to set a complementary goal with how are you going to afford this, whether you're going to work for a company to have them pay for it, whether you're going to use a student loan or whatever. So there's different aspects. And your objectives can actually be complementary. They're not so much as 
achieving the same thing as much as what they're doing is they're getting you to the goal you want to get to. So that is the basic model. Present state, desired future state. In a certain amount of time, you do a gap analysis and you hit your objectives. Thank you very much.